Eiffel. London, 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 London. This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel from London. We're at the Matcham Barbecue uh, Day here at, in Brentwood. With me, I've got three-time world champion, IBF current uh, super middleweight champion. I could go on all day. That's a long intro. Carl Frost. <laughs> I've got to introduce you properly because you're like the yeah. man here, aren't you? How are you? Underneath Eddie Hearn, I am. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Very good, thank you. I'm training, actually, in 10 minutes. So I'm going to lose some up and have a little workout. But no, it's a nice day. The sun always shines when I'm here. Last time I was here, the sun was shining. But no, I'm very good. Happy to um, hear about the announcement with Matchroom. Cleaning up with the sky dates. Got some good fighters, and I think the fans are in for a real treat this year. Um, just been announced on the 17th of November at Nottingham Arena against Yusef Mack. Um, can you tell me about your thoughts about this um, this opponent and this on this date? To be honest, we've we've tried to get certain opponents, and there's people turned it down. There's somebody um, called Ustausen who's who's, I think, next in line for the IBF at Super Middleweight. And there's a couple of other big names out there who looked at LeBron and Andrade. I think he's pretty much past his best. And then Yusuf Max came in. We've had a couple turn us down. Um, and then there's a couple where you're like, you know, I boxed him already or people don't want to see that. Mikel Kessler, we couldn't get him over. I wanted to get him. And the big fights that are probably going to happen next year. So other than the rematch with Butte and the fight with Kessler, there wasn't that many options. And when Yusuf Mack came to the table, we looked at him and thought, you know what, he's a big, strong, light heavyweight who's competed at top level before. And because he's big and strong and he's a light heavyweight, he might give me a bit of a test, you know, for, for um, and provide a good fight for the audience. So I'm happy I'm fighting him, but I've got to be on my A game. I've got to make sure I do the work, get myself in the same shape I was in when I fought Butte or, or any fighter can come unstuck at, any, at this sort of level, at world level. If you're fighting somebody and you're not giving them any respect or taking them seriously, then... It's a recipe for disaster, so you know I've got to um, I've got to start training. Like I say, I'm t training in 10 minutes because it's a serious game I'm in, and um, I'm excited. I'm back in Nottingham. I'm defending my title for the first time, and then next year we're looking at the um, rematch with Butte or a rematch with Mikel Kessler. So that's when it does get massive and really exciting. But this potentially could be my last fight in Britain, which is which is a shame. But it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. Can't get Kessler over here. We're going to try and get Kessler over here, but in all honesty, I don't think Kessler wants to fight me. I spoke to him myself personally, and um, he was sort of playing down, coming over here, and maybe we do it over in Denmark again, and can we do it at the football ground? But we've got to wait till the end of the season then. So if we can get it in May, middle of May, when the football season's finished, or June, then and stick it on at the city ground, we can do it, because we've got to pay him big money to get him over, and we can't do that at the Capital FM Arena, because unfortunately it only holds 10,000, and we're probably going to need 30,000 to, to pay him what he wants. But, you know, one step at a time. I've got this defence, which is the first defence of my new title, the IBF World title, and I'm looking forward to it. And then after that, it's a rematch with Kessler or Butte. Either or, I'm up for it and I'm ready. How many more fights are you looking to have, or would you realistically like to have? I think this could be a three-fight game plan, to be honest. Probably 18 months, could be the limit, 18 months to two years. Three more fights. I've got this fight, which is a big one. It could be my last fight in England. Then the rematch of Butte, which is going to be in Canada. And then if we can get Kessler, whether we'll go to Denmark, I'd love to do it at the city ground, Nottingham Forest city ground, my hometown, Nottingham Forest, my beloved team, 30,000 seats plus in the stadium. That'd just be unbelievable. I could retire on the back of that. I've got to beat him though. You will beat him. Listen, I'm not going to take too much of your time because I know you've got stuff to do, so I appreciate your time as always. Um, when you're fighting in Nottingham, I want to come up and talk to you about how genetically gifted you are. <laughs> if, that's all right, is that, if that's all right. That's fine, yeah. yeah. I can give you a sample if you want. You can put it under the microscope, see what it's doing. So I can implement that into my future children. Oh, now we're talking genetics. <laughs> Serious genetics. Right, listen, we look forward to your workout now. Anthony Lever standing there giving me evil eyes. This is Coogan Cassius with Carl Froch for iPhone London. Thank you very much. Thank you. Take care, mate. Thanks, mate.